gentlemen, uh, please welcome Mr. Nantucket 2009. <laughs> I, I told you, I'm going to hurt everybody who walks up here. Uh, ex except, except for Candace. But everybody else gets hurt. Uh, voted most likely to be carded three times <laughs> at every restaurant, including Taco Bell. <laughs> Pat Bailey. Junior Achievement of Delaware, presenting on behalf of the Delaware Bioscience Association. Hi, my name's Pat Daly, and I'm not a JA student. I just work for Junior Achievement. <laughs> Junior Achievement empowers today's young people to own their future economic success. Our volunteer-delivered K-12 programs foster work readiness, financial literacy, and entrepreneurship. But I'm here tonight to tell you about one of the most dangerous questions you can ask your students. What do you want to be when you grow up? I think I was in fourth grade the first time someone asked me that, and I played on the soccer team. I loved playing drums in the band. And when my parents weren't looking, I watched way too much MTV. So naturally, someone asked me that, and I said, well, I'm going to be a football star for Liverpool, and in the offseason, I'll tour as a rock star. <laughs> it made a lot of sense in the time, and as I grew into high school, I never really thought much more about my career. But now I think we should be asking students a different question. How can you change the world? And it's a difficult question. So our program team at Junior Achievement came up with a solution, which I think is the JA Innovation Hub. The Junior Achievement Innovation Hub helps students explore career fields in science, technology, engineering, and math. We do that through a spaceship interface, which allows students to look at careers not as class subjects or anything, but as what interests them themselves. After blasting off into outer space, students look at different hot topics that we call like cars of the future, space exploration, and military technology. From there, they can dive deep and think about what interests them. If I'm a student and I saw the movie Iron Man, maybe I might be interested in creating sophisticated body armor. There, as students explore, they can learn about what the real career is called, which is materials engineering. As students dive deep and complete their mission, we zoom them back into Earth, zooming in on North America and Delaware, and finally landing in an office building where they know that they can reach their career. Thanks for your support, DuPont. <laughs> From there, what, what students aren't seeing are what we call the Junior Achievement Innovation Hub Mission Report. The Mission Report guides students in their career roadmap, showing them how to go from where they are now to where they can be in the future. If I'm a student and I select medical technology and then manage software systems, my mission report will land me at Accenture, where I can learn what a medical technician's analyst is, and on top of that, what my median salary range is, the education that I'll need to get there, certifications that I'll need, and what I can be doing now as a student to land the career job that I've chosen through this program. By giving them the footprint of how to achieve that, we look to create tangible goals for students today. This mission report will tell you what classes you can take in high school, what GPA range you should be looking at, and your benchmark for SAT scores that students need to reach in order to get into the careers to reach the goal of their dreams. Now, today, it's, it's, no, it's, it's no surprise that we are in a global economy, and as such, it is a very competitive market. In the United States, out of 34 countries, our students tested 17th in science, 14th in reading, and 25th in math. We need something to encourage and inspire our students to reach big to get their dreams. I think in this global economy, tying it to what you can do today to affect where you'll be tomorrow makes the most sense. Junior Achievement has been in Delaware for 50 years now, and we've focused on the same three things we always have financial literacy, entrepreneurship, and workforce readiness. Over that 50 years, we have continued to retool our programs and branch out and expand, but we have stuck with those same central pillars. We do this in order so that we can focus on youth and education development, which will bolster economic development. Here in Junior Achievement at Delaware, we serve on average 20,000 students annually, and we do this with only eight full-time employers. We do this with the help of over 1,500 volunteers whom we call the lifeblood of our organization. If you were to go to jadelaware.org and research volunteer information,
you'll see how easy it is to become a, a civically engaged member of our community. We have volunteer options that range from in-class volunteer program kits. You can come to our facility where you can help today's students become adults for the day at J.A. Biztown or J.A. Finance Park. Or you can host students at your, at your job so they can learn about your career. If you would now take out your smartphones, if you want, you can capture a QR code that would send me an email letting, letting me know who you are and that you're interested in learning more about junior achievement. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a good night. Awesome. Nice. By the way, a little extra round of applause, use of a technology, the QR code, sweet, nicely done. Yeah.